Soupy. I randomly turned on Twitch and there you were. Kissa. Twenty. Two. Twenty. Two. Twenty. Two. Twee wee wee to amu. Twenty. Two. Twenty. Two. Twenty. Two. A Kong is birthed. DK Come on Scorpy, take it to the fridge. Jesus is Lord, Lord, Lord. Wow, it's four or five monkeys. Damn three, three months already. A whole year. Happy birthday, Junkie Kong. Donkey nuts. He has no eyes, he has no face, this Kong is a freaking disgrace.
Lanky O oh Lanky my friend. Hello, hello. I am say I am saying hello, but I must go. I'm still I am just barely finishing cooking my dinner, so I have to go look at my eggs. So I'm gonna check out my eggs real quick. I'm debating, I wanted, so I made, this is the first time I ever made oven baked salmon. This is the first time I ever oven baked fish. And so I did it, and I made that, and I made some Brussels sprouts also in the oven. And earlier today I had a mishap in my attempt to not cook. I had I had canned soup from from the incident and it said if you want to microwave this microwave it and cover it and so I put I put a cover a pot cover on it and I forgot that there was plastic on the handle of the pot cover so I put it in there for 2 minutes and then when it was done I was like this smells funny and then that's when I realized oh there's it's plastic and now my microwave my microwave smells like plastic but I want to reheat some f some rice but because it smells like plastic I'm not sure I, I don't even know if my microwave is fucked anymore what the fuck I think I love Skittles pizza I do too. Yo, I'm, I'm gonna make a new one this year. I have to. The one time I did, I chose the worst kind of pizza to make a Skittles pizza from, which was like three cheese pesto pizza. I need just like a basic, basic pizza. None of that funny spices, none of that herbs and shit. Just cheese pizza. I'll do it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm currently debating whether or not I can microwave my rice because I put plastic in the oven six hours ago. I think it should be fine. I, I left it open to air it out. It just it still smells like plastic, but I think it should be fine.
Thank you for the hype train. Thank you for the level five hype train. Before I go check out my eggs, I'm gonna shout out some soups. Lizards in a trench coat with 19 months. Hacky Art with 33 months. Crowery with 29 months. All these huge numbers. One up clock with the prime soup 29 months. Odd Atticus 22 months. Ixib oh god that name. Ixiblizz123 with two months. Said Donkey Nuts, thank you. Kaiju Fu with twelve months, a whole year. Keisha Triadra I'm sorry. Three months. Lao Marba with four months. Unicorn kissing with two gifted subs. Mr. Grim Recycler with 15 months. Spicy Mari, 10 months. Sword Lesbian, 14 months. Jade Inferno, 37 months. Oh my god. That's a huge number. 37 months. Dang, we're nearing... We're nearing 40-month subs. That's wild to me. Is the old the oldest subs the oldest subs are definitely going to be the ones that were like they were there for the 4 a.m 200 viewer streams jane inferno the 37 months congratulations molly starts at 22 months smingus with five months and those are all the the subs that arrived today I need to go check out my eggs. Before that, I welcome you to Donkey Kong 64. Game of amazement. Congrats for getting featured on Vine Source's commercial chaos with you spam and vid. Also give what? Wainer a big virtual hug from everyone. The whole 40 minute thing? There's 283 viewers right now. Yes, but we just fucking started smart ass. <laughs> Just the no, uh, just the neutrino. Okay. I was about to say the whole forty-minute thing. <laughs> that's a that's a journey. I uh, honestly, I'd kind of forgotten that was last. That felt like a like a fugue state. Okay, I need to, I need to cook my eggs. I need to check my eggs. Narwhals. Thank you for 30 months. What the? What the? I'll be back. These Brussels sprouts turn out amazing. Hey, Ly Limerence, I agree with you. I look at normal pictures of Lanky Kong and it just looks so weird. I've literally never seen Lanky Kong not spherical. It's such a, it looks like, it looks like someone squished him. It looks like someone squished him. I was looking up like, I don't know why I've recently had a fast, like I've always, I've, I've been meaning to do a cooking stream for fucking ever. 
Like, the Paul Marte microwave cooking stream is definitely something that I've wanted to do for a minute. It's just the amount of setup that I would need to make my kitchen streamable would... I just, I live in an apartment. It would be kind of, it would be chaos in there, but, um... But I've also been like, I want to make like an Azuric meal. I want to make foods. I want to make foods for the games that I play. <laughs> oh, what's a Donkey Kong 64 meal? What's an Azuric meal? What's a... Uh, what's a Smackdown Here Comes the Pain meal? I just want to, I want to like... The next level for this fucking idea would be to make a cookbook based off of the, all the fucking stupid games that I play that nobody th thinks about. Uh, old meals for old heads. Ra yeah, like the rascal meal. What would the rascal meal be? Whatever it is, it has to be hard to eat. Like, the stipulation has to be like... The stipulation has to be like, you can't use utensils to eat the rascal meal you have to use your fingers and it's soaking wet just slop cream slop with like what like a like a like a good tasty with like a good tasty just puck of ground beef well seasoned nicely cooked but then it's covered in just horrendous slop I need to go check on my rice now. Just grew my 28th scorb. So big. So powerful. Thank you. Wait, I need a I need water. I'm gonna be back. Alright, let's see. This is my first time making oven baked salmon. I wonder how it went. I looked it up online. It said, despite what you think about me and my cooking, I own a meat thermometer. When I, when it's not when I, when I'm actually going to eat the food, I I take care of it. But um. I love these Kongs. They remind me of me. Also, the Donkey Kong 64 meal is a bunch of bananas on a silver platter. So, I looked it up online and said the temperature, the cooking temperature. Twix. Thank you for, for Vodapop. Twix. I haven't had Twix in a while. Um, it says the cooking temperature for salmon is like 120 for wild salmon. Fahrenheit. Um, and I think I went way above that, but it doesn't look burnt. But when I measured it out of the oven, it was like 99 Celsius, so. It was, it was, it was, um, it was very fucking hot. But it doesn't look too, doesn't look too 
burned. A hundred years have passed. A hundred whole years have passed. I did turn a hundred this year. That's actually the... That is something I said. Welcome. I'm just reviewing my oven-baked salmon that I made. I've never made oven-baked fish before. And the verdict is... I hope I don't, like, get sick. <laughs> it's hard to tell with fish because it always looks fucked up. Wait, I'm going to turn the light on. It looks fine. It's pretty white, which I think is good news for salmon. We will be. Whoa, this is sick. This is great. Why was I stir frying? Or These cons about to go fry, Why was I frying good salmon this whole time? Good for them. I should have always oven baked it. It's so it's so smooth. Frying, I mean on the stove pot, you know, just some oil on the in the frying pan. But this is great because this like the the outside doesn't get crispy. It's so smooth. It feels like I'm eating a cloud. Wow. Wow. That's so good. Wow. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I sometimes look upon, <laughs> I sometimes look upon babies with jealousy because I say, you're seeing shit for the first time. I wish I could have the same amazement you do. You're fucking lucky. I hope you're aware of that. But eating this, I'm like, wow, it doesn't actually matter whether you're a baby or an adult. You will always experience amazement. More soapy food reviews, please. The salmon is changing my brain chemistry. God damn! Ah! Ah! Wow. And I still have another whole half of... I have another whole half of fucking salmon. Thank you, buddy, Groose. Wow. Wow. Blessing of salmon. Wow. That's all I could say. I'm like Steve Jobs. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Fuck an iPhone. Fuck the iPhone. Fuck the iPhone. Eat salmon. Wow.
The Brussels sprouts are hitting good too. I'm a bit concerned about the rice, but we do what we can. Woo! The only sad thing is I did not have time to peel my boiled eggs. I had, a, I had big, I had big plans, and I have no grocery. I had some Brussels sprouts, so I made my plans where I was gonna make oven baked Brussels sprouts with boiled eggs and rice and baked salmon with some corn on the side, some butter corn. What happened to the rice? I accidentally microwaved plastic earlier today for two minutes. And although I left the microwave open to air it out after, when I went to go microwave my rice because it was leftover rice, it still kind of smelled like plastic, but um, I think it should be fine. It was like seven hours ago. I don't usually cover shit in the microwave, so when the instructions said cover it, I wasn't thinking, I just put a fucking, I put a pot cover on it, not realizing the handle was plastic. So. Oh well. If I got powers, we know why. Oh, nothing hits better than water. <laughs> I would say that's a solid nine out of ten. Who the fuck said six? Excuse me? I'll take I'll, I'll take at the very least an eight. <clears throat> I see a seven. Don't rate that one. That one doesn't count. Whew. My neighbors must be sick of me burping. I do it all the fucking. It's gotten. It's gotten. It's becoming a problem where I, when I go out with friends to eat, I will openly and loudly burp without realizing it's not cool. Or we'll just be walking down the street and I'll just fucking burp. Just let out like the loudest burp. I do I wasn't raised to think burps were bad. So My parents were like, burping means the food is good. Like keep like they took it as a compliment. It's like compliments to the chef. We're burping here. I mean, I can burp silently. I could even hold in a burp if I want to, but I'm just so used to being free. <laughs> I'm just so used to being free. I'm so used to not holding back. Free the burp. I might have had too many Brussels sprouts, though. I think I had the whole bag. No, there might be some left. <clears throat> if someone doesn't think burping's cool, it's like... It's one thing to fart, but burping is so harmless. 
No one gets hurt with a burp. People don't have to leave the room. So I'm just like, fucking grow up. Grow up. I can burp on command, but I can't do big burps like that. I know how to burp, but only small ones. What? Oh, I was about to say, isn't this fucking Banjo Tooie? What is this? The Donkey Kong 64 soundtrack sounds ex almost exactly like the Banjo games. It's wild. It makes sense, but. Ugh. The best feeling, honestly, the only feeling better than having a good filling homemade meal where the food doesn't taste like shit or wasn't burned is having some nice cold water to gulp it down there are few there are few better things in life like people like sparkling water or like juice or soda but nothing beats you can't you can't just take one huge ass amazing gulp of sparkling water and feel nothing but satisfaction you're always going to have a little bit of resistance water is amazing except for the fact that everyone who ever whoever drank water died but let's not talk about that Thank you, Glock Bob. Don't rate that one. It is true. Wait, hold on. What? Yeah, everyone who's ever drank water has died. Think about it. The only exceptions are us currently. But it doesn't mean... <laughs> I don't know. We could go in a very different direction. This this stream would could go in a very different direction right now. It's that. Uh, so here's how. Here's the weirdness. I th hear things like that and I think it's funny. It's from a Mega sixty four video. And if I'm in like a social situation where I don't know what to do, I will say something like that. I said something like that recently when I was, I have, a, I have a friend who's a bartender and I just went to go say hi and just hang out and people sat beside me and then it was like, how are you? And I was like, you know, everyone who ever drank water died and it became like a huge problem that I said that it became so confused. Everyone's confused. They're like, but from like drowning from it became so complicated so fast it's like from drowning i guess if it was poisoned water but like i guess like yeah i mean you could die from drinking water if too much water yeah you could die if you drink too much water and it became just and i'm trying to i'm trying to communicate no just how the fuck do i explain this <laughs> how the fuck do i explain that i didn't mean that i just meant that and then I said, everyone who has ever drank water has died. And someone said, except for us. And then I was like, yeah, but like, just, just wait. <laughs> just wait. And I was just like, I got to kill this conversation because it's we got to really move on. <laughs> this, is not, this is going somewhere else. Just, just wait. It was very, it was very, it was very interesting. Has, has I started playing the game yet? No. 
I don't go back to the stream after I start uh to the stream to the screen after I start playing the game. Simple Ted. Simple Ted, thank you. This is the game. No, this is the game. I want you to know that the picture of Lanky Kong you use for the stream announcement feels so horribly wrong after like two to three years. Yeah, I was uh, someone mentioned that earlier. It feels like it feels like that's the photoshopped version and the lanky but <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Sorry. I don't know if it's the plastic in the rice or the salmon. Okay. I think it's about time. Oh boy. I might have eaten too much. Did I just self sabotage? Thank you, blueberry tickles. You know. Secret Lab? Here's a free idea, Secret Labs, or whoever makes g gaming chairs. Make a gaming chair where you press a button and th th there's a hole that opens up in the seat. A hole opens up, but you don't fall through. You know, it's just a hole for, you know, for, for shitting or, or peeing. And then you make you hey you make that chair. There would be no drama right now. So I see an opportunity. I see an opportunity. People are saying hey streamers are getting up to go pee or take shits, leaving videos on. It's a problem. Secret Labs comes in says hey, I got the solution. You press a button on your gaming chair. A hole opens up, feel free to shit or pee. You don't have to get up or leave and no one sees anything. Then after the stream, there's a detachable bottom that you bring to the actual toilet and just dump it out. The audio though, get a better microphone. Uh, that or they could soundproof the chair. Soundproof the chair. I'm sure they've got means to do that. Did I just shit my pants? <laughs> that would be next level if the way that I... <laughs> hey, y'all got an idea. How about a way to help us streamers not shit our pants on stream? I feel like that's something that's not explored enough commercially. You think it's called diapers? Yeah, but nobody... Look. Why does no one think my idea is good? The, here's a fucking easy thing. Call it the throne. The gamers would love that. There you go. You've got a cool name. You could have RGB in there. You could add some RGB in there. What if you could... Okay, you connect it to your computer. You're playing Valorant or... Hearthstone or whatever the fuck and your health goes low your health goes low and let's say you have to shit so bad that you're playing badly so your health goes low the game recognizes says hmm you might have to take a shit the throne opens up without you even having to press a button so during those dur during those really hard gaming moments the throone reads Reads, presenting the reads your mind. Cinco gaming chair. Mimi wanna be a streaming man. It reads your mind. Let's say, oh fuck, I'm losing right now. Fuck, I really have to shit. But I don't wanna I don't wanna forfeit this match. Like I'm winning. And then 
it, it reads through your Fitbit, it reads your increased heart rate and your sweat. And then it just says, here you go, buddy. And it opens up the, the shithole. And then you could just, and then you just laser that shit right out. And then it closes right back up. It gives you a little, a little spritz, you know. And then it closes back up. It dispenses a good, a good smell. And, uh, you don't even have to, you don't even have to move. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty great. You're eating dinner. I just finished dinner. You need to hurry the fuck up. You hate this? Keep shitting your pants. No one, no one's telling you to stop. If you like doing that, but I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just pitching an idea out there that I think could make them secret labs or whatever the fuck a lot of money. So, Shark Tank, Golden, uh, whatever the fuck the Canadian version is, the the Golden Boys or whatever. I, my idea worth a million dollars. Get me on the show. Dragon's Den, yes, that's the one. <laughs> you think about it, they designed entire types of clothing around having to shit. So, just think about it. All right, I should start playing this game. I'm, I'm I don't think this topic's gonna end. We've got, yo, we've got some time. I'm sure this game is going to bring that issue up anyways. Though I'm sure they shit wherever they want. Oh no, they've got pants actually. Our icon, our icon right here. Is this on actual hardware? Yes. So it's going to run like shit. This is my first stream. I think this is my first stream ever from my N64. This is my first time. I don't have that many N64 games. They're all expensive as shit. Alright, we've all seen this. First stream ever. Look at how fucking crusty this game is. So I've had this cartridge since I was a kid. I never really got into Donkey Kong 64 growing up. I loved Banjo Tooie, but I, I, for some reason I was never like captivated by. It. I think I was just like overwhelmed by the amount of shit in this game. <clears throat> but this will be my first time actually sitting down and like trying to play it. Also, I remember being very confused because I got, I got on, well, I got this game, truthfully, I got this game along with like four other N64 games by trading my John Cena and Big Show action figures with a friend. Um, I really made out like a, like a bandit with that one, honestly. I won that trade hard. Um, but I got this game and then I was confused that I couldn't play it because I needed the expansion pack. So I think that added to my inability to play it, or to, to want to play it as much. <clears throat> G 
good trade for your friend from what I've heard about this game. Well, from that trade, I got Goldeneye, Pokemon Snap, um, Donkey Kong 64, WWF No Mercy, and I think I got WCW Mayhem. It was a good ass trade. It was a. That was a. I. I. I was. For two crappy action figures. The Big Show one was actually a pretty good one. It was his WrestleMania 21 sumo outfit. But the John Cena one was just a basic John Cena action figure. Ow! You come over and play the multiplayer mode of this game with you, yes. Though my only other N64 controller is the one I had when I was a kid, so the analog stick is completely limp. So, but you'll have to use that one. It doesn't work unless it basically has become a D-pad. It's basically just a D-pad now. That is one thing I'm actually... I think that might be a, a reason why I haven't streamed many N64 games. I despise the analog stick so much. The, this controller... is so hard to use. We've really, we've evolved so much. You haven't understood a single second of this ga children games cutscene. From what I, from what I could glean, glean, gleam from it, it looks like it's exactly like Banjo Tooie. Uh, he's gonna, he has a big thing, and he's gonna laser and explode the island or kill someone. I actually don't mind the buttons, but the stick is really, uh, disgusting. The stick on this controller is disgusting. It really- you're fighting- you're fighting with the stick to actually use it, and it feels like it's gonna snap off at any second. Oh, weird camera angle. This time there can be no I do love the buttons sticks. though. And the whole three handle idea is so oh, strange. <laughs> love how they all have their back turned to the camera there. What are you rating? I didn't burp. Okay, rule did. I didn't even notice. Oh God! Is he just doing this for fun? Oh, I thought he was training to get his friends back or his family. Are they family? I don't know. I guess the, are they family? Oh my goodness. Diddy is his nephew. Scholars have asked this for centuries. I because I feel like Lanky Kong and Chunky Kong are not related to Donkey Kong. But it's like it's kinda like a like a GTA online crew type of situation. Is there any fun mysteries here? Oh my god, <laughs> that's a- That's a- He's- he's footwork in there. You can hear him.
Okay, nothing, nothing to be seen here. I don't remember this. I don't remember the corners of everything in this game being so crispy. I feel like it was rare for N64 games to be this like sharp. Well, all my friends and my bananas are gone. Banana horde. Let's check our banana horde. Wait, is it up there? Oh, that's where it is. Sick lighting. What's this? What is this? Do I have to uh, ground pound it? Whatever. I have to do my meat slam. That was for later. I do love that about rare games. I love how that they, they put so much shit that you have to go back to, but it's never too annoying. Though I'm, I've heard this game is pretty notorious for backtracking in like a bad way. Oh, he's his son. Lost your golden bananas again? Frankie's batch of homemade potions. What the? 3D quest. Okay, I'll go do your training barrels. Haha! <laughs> What did Cranky mean about training Donkey all confused? Boop, boop. Press Z to dive underwater and hold it. Okay, I could imagine what that. Well done. Doesn't talk like that in the show, does he? No, no. In the show, he's just like a normal, just dude. Actual DK lore, Cranky Kong is the DK from the arcade game. We play as DK the third. Wait, Zed, then, then right. Yeah, what happened? What happened to DK the second? Well, because Cranky says that this Donkey Kong is his son, which means we just skipped over DK two. Because Cranky's DK one. If he's DK the third, then we don't talk about that. <laughs> he's like the he's like the Bioshock two of Donkey Kong. Yes! Celebratory backflips. Oh. 
Press B to pick up the barrels. Press B again to throw it. Okay. I, from what I remember of actually playing the game, I never had to throw barrels. I think I didn't get very far. I think I, I think I beat the first world, and I don't remember ever having to do that. Where you get Diddy, you get access to Diddy Kong. Oh yes, no, true. I do remember seeing it. I do remember it happening in boss fights. You are right. You know, it actually doesn't control as bad as I would have thought. It's definitely sluggish. It's no Mario 64. It's definitely sluggish. But it's not that bad, actually. I didn't take my time. <laughs> Slam the ground by pressing A to jump and then Z while in whilst in the air. Bring me 15 banana medals. I'll give you something cool. Okay. Let's do it. Yeah. Not gonna go to my grave. I think that's what I need to do the thing in the cave here. Oh, this is different, but okay. Wait, I want to go to that other cave and see if that's what I needed. That little patch of ground with my name on it. God, the frame rate dropping. I wonder if the frame rate would have felt different on a CRT as well. Probably. So is this it? No, I need something. Oh, I need another move then. Alright, let's go explore the world. I know the first world of DK64, but aside from that, I actually don't know any of the other um, any of the other levels. I'm genuinely very like excited to see what this game actually is. I never gave it a fair chance. But this first level I've done it a million times, I feel like. He's back! He did something and took your bananas. Island with a cave. Well, let's go. Find a similar number pad in the area and press Z to banana port between the two. I think this is where it started losing me, was all these numbers and the barrels and shit. Oh yeah. Okay. Hey. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Why does he roll there? Oh, yes, I remember this fucking. Who the fuck is this guy? Boo hoo hoo. <laughs> Boo hoo hoo. -hoo. <laughs> How could I? Such a lovely little island full of cute monkeys. So I said no. Sniff. Boo hoo hoo. 
I'm to stay in here until I've thought tough enough. Sob. Sniff. Boo hoo. I'll do anything. <laughs> Hey, little monkey, perhaps you could help poor old k Lumsy escape? Oh, go on, I'll be your bestest friend. Yes, Donkey will help k Lumsy. <laughs> Something about the, the pacing of these dialogue cutscenes is so funny. I think it's the amount of time it takes for the thought bubble to come out of their head, and then the dialogue is all so slow. It's very... Very anticlimactic. Ooh! Yummy. Oh, K. Lumsy so happy now. But K. Rule has taken the keys to this cage and given them to the biggest and most feared soldiers in his army if you manage to get hold of any keys please bring them back here to open my locks don't tell k rule though this has to be our little secret he is fucking huge I feel like Rare was always pretty good at, like, scale in terms of, like, when something's big in a Rare game, it feels real big. I was over here, the banana. The lighting's nice whenever they have colored lighting. Oh. I'm the mighty bee locker. Awesome. Stupid. Everyone's so mean. It's the big sawmill in the sky for me, so pay up pronto and I can get my wooden butt out of here. Ah! Don't be afraid, young ones. It's only me, Wrinkly Kong. My body may have passed away since DKC3, but I'm here in spirit to help you defeat those naughty crocodiles. I can use my supernatural powers to reveal to you and your friends where that rogue K rule has hidden some of your precious golden bananas. You come see me wherever you see my face. <laughs> Ooh, scary sound. Don't like that. What? Tell me. Get DK's coconut shooter from Funky Store and use it to hit the coconut. Okay. I could have figured that out. Thanks for nothing. Now, what is this? Probably can't do anything about it. Uh. Come on, I haven't got all day. I, I, okay. Oh, why are they showing dialogue like this now? Let's see how that... Oh. I did get my first banana.
This is such a strange way to to portray this. All right, this is the one and only level I ever played of this game. I wonder how fast I could get through it. Gather as many bananas as you can. Collect 75 or more bananas and you'll earn a banana medal. Okay. Why is Lanky calling my avatar? Because uh, I just thought it was funny. The same reason the baby was my avatar for a little bit. Speedrun tech. Here. Oh, I need Diddy Kong for that. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit! The graphics. Hey, DK, help! 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 Dang, the colors! Have hidden 25 golden bananas around this area, but you'll only be able to find five of them without the help of the other Kongs. Oh lord. Alright, let's survey the area. Do I have to blow this up with a gun? Yeah, I guess so. Must be nice to play a game where the <laughs> enemies actually die. <laughs> that was legitimately today. I was like, I want to stream. I streamed last night. But, I mean, Here Comes the Pain is a good game. But I was like, I feel like streaming like a platformer. And I'm like, but I, I cannot do another game that I don't know is good. So it was between this and Banjo Two, and I figured I'd never played this. So I was I I'm it was about time that I played a game that wasn't ass. Yeah, the skips. I don't even know if that's Snide's HQ. King K. Rule has been working on his Blastomatic and it intends to destroy your island. Oh, the blueprints. I don't think I ever looked for these. What, uh. What do you do for me if I get these? For every blueprint you return, I'll give you one of those golden bin. Oh, okay. this a oh, watermelons more Diddy Kong peanut gun switches yes yeah. 
Might need Funky's help. Oh, I see. What do you say? Seventy-five bananas to get us to get a golden banana or something. So. Oh wait, there's fall damage. Oh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. There is fall damage. Oh my god. to go get that coconut gun. Was there a thing activated for... Uh, where does this take me? Okay, that's close. So cool. K Rule's return is a real bummer. Alright, give me give me the gun. I'll give you three coins. Yes. Hold Z, then press left. Okay. I get it. What is this? Press Z to transport yourself to King K. Rule's battle arena. A crown? What does the crown do? Okay. Uh, let's give that another try. Oh fuck. Oh my god. Is there no consequence to losing those things? Can I just do it, keep doing it forever? Oh, come on. I went through the fucking platform. Oh my god, what? This game's... What? That platform is so fucking small. Yeah, I think I just need to do this. Just never stop moving. Only take on one at a time. Oh. Yeah! 
Woo! Yeah. So, I don't, what the fuck does the crown do for me? I need to go shoot the switches, right? Nothing really besides needing it. <laughs> it looks cool. Yeah, I want that because it looks cool. Oh, what's that down in the water? Hold on. What did I just see? Oh, it's oranges. Collectibles just for the sake of them. I mean, yeah, like the, the blueprints are also just they feel weird. I don't know. I was like, what does this give me? Oh, more gold. Everything gives you a golden banana. Oh, I want to go there. What's that? these trough and scoff we could help you progress through your quest but there's just one problem I want to reach the key above my head to open this door for you but I've eaten far too much I reckon that if I can feed my buddy scoff over there he might be able to overcome my slight weight problem if you so if you've got any tasty bananas go stand on our pad and let's see what you can do I hated this room when I played this as a kid. It always felt so weird. I think the music added to it. It's such whimsical music for this. You could totally reach that. Right by. What? That was weird. You love this room as a kid. <laughs> as an adult, you're not a big fan. Can I get up there? No. Where's the last switch? I actually don't know where it is. Oh, is that it? I can kinda see it. Oh. Wait, is that actually, or am I fucking crazy? Like, is this... It looks like a faded out switch. Yeah, okay. Oh. Well, how on earth do I... Cameron needs to go far back. Gotta shoot from funkies. 
I have to go there anyways. Alright. Let's get Diddy out of there. Yippee! Way to go, DK! Now that I'm free, I can help you by collecting red bananas. <laughs> I'll just go and wait in the tag barrel until you need me. That's so funny. Now that I'm free, I can help you by collecting red bananas. Hey, my hey, my friend. Good to see you. I was just imprisoned. Now I can help you by collecting red bananas. Oh my god. Go. I'll get on the fucking... I think I'm starting to see what people mean by... Ooh. I'm starting to see what people mean by... Uh, feeling like... Yeah, you have to switch out Kongs a lot. Because I have to go back and give the pigs... My bananas. And then I also have to switch out for... Diddy. Oh my god, this is a huge level. This level is small. This is my only frame of reference for this game. Oh, I guess that one didn't open. Red bananas. This is a Diddy area, I'm guessing. Gibana. Gibana. Thank you, P bums, too. Oh, up. <laughs> that sound. Oh. Oh. Oh, I missed the fucking banana coin. Yeah, I wonder if the, their decision to design the levels in this way was precisely to make the game feel bigger than it is. Wh what if they made the game and they were like, oh fuck, what the fuck? Uh... Oh! That was weird. I'm having a hard time with this, hold on. Why can't I get this stupid... There we go. Oh no! I'm gonna die! Ah! If I die, I'll cry. Oh! <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't know what the, what the saving is like in this game, but it's probably not great. Oh, you can just pause and save at any time. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. That's good. Oh, no. Why does Cranky have an enemy right beside his house? I feel like you should deal with that. <laughs> the fucking sound! <laughs> it's so blown out. That thing's huge! Oh, this isn't like Mumbo's Mountain. Oh, maybe the oranges will blow the blow it up.
How do I throw those again? Nope. Oh wait, I don't think I have enough of whatever these coins are. Oh no, I do. I perfected another one of my potions. Yes, sir. Baboon Blast. Beryllium Peril Perilous. You can now play the Barrel Blast courses. Find my pad with your ugly mug on it and press Z to launch yourself on your way. That's not really a power, is it? I'm not letting you have another potion yet. Okay. I'm gonna say the numbered the numbered pads are really confusing. I don't. It's not really helping me remember which thing goes where. I feel like a menu would have been like like the warp pads in Banjo Tooie. That that they didn't have a problem with that. You just you you sit on one and it tells you like the area of the level that the warp pads at. I don't know why they had to change that. Although, I'm guessing these two games were in development at the same time. Okay, maybe I should switch out to Diddy Kong now. Oh no, I didn't go there. Bench 2 came after this game? Oh, I, I could have sworn this came before... This came after Tui. Huh. Well, it makes sense then that they hadn't figured that out if it came out before... Banjo Tui. Oh. Oh. This fucking He hates this. <laughs> no. He's dead. <laughs> That's honestly such a... There's something very surreal about that level. Oh, it's his purgatory. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the fact that he silently just falls. Oh. I also wonder what inspired the decision for them to make the cutscenes in wide fuck in widescreen. I always wondered if that was a stylish stylistic thing or if it's like the quarry where it's just like a technical limitation. He's so tired of being thrown around. He's like, have me a little bit. Ha let me have a little bit of agency in my life. Oh! It, it looks more cinematic. I wonder because this was being played on CRTs, and I don't know. If, fucking hell! I don't know if it was the same for other people, but like. When a movie, when you'd watch a movie on a CRT and it had black bars at the bottom and the top, it felt like like a mistake. You're always like, fuck, I got like the bad version of the movie. Damn it. Did it support widescreen? Uh, yeah, there's an option in the menu for widescreen, but I don't know what that exactly... Maybe that's what that is? Oh. 
No! Oh, phew. Finally, he can he could rest easy knowing he never has to be barrel blasted again. At least not till the end of the level. Yay! What the fuck does does that do? <laughs> There's another collectible. What? 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 What the fuck? Okay. I need it. Okay. <laughs> That's all you need to tell me. Do I need this? Yeah. I do not like those guys. What the hell? What, uh, I need a feather. What? Okay. Well, I guess I gotta switch to Diddy now. Or wait, a feather, feather's not Diddy. Who the, what is that? Kill the yellow tough guy. Uh, is that is that related to the red feathers? No! Kill that guy for a collectible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's all you gotta say. Kill the blonde guys on site to make the end of the game actually possible. What? I'm learning so much about this game. Oh. Okay. Now I have to go get the other tough guys. There's one here. Uh, which direction was the tough guy? Not here. Oh wait, wasn't there? Oh, there you go. Does the red hair mean I have to be Diddy? No, I guess not. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a complicated relationship with this game. <laughs> That's a real interesting uh, move. I'm sure they had people complaining about that in playtesting. Like, it, that had to have been a decision mostly inspired by trying to, like, stretch the game out. There's no way. This is the only video game whose cartridge you threw into the woods. Why? Is it hard? Or it's just annoying like that? Hello, Diddy. There are five golden bananas for you to find here, too. Now I have to go collect all the bananas as Diddy. for me there. I've got some bananas here that I could get. Oh, oh the per- is purple a different per- fucking person? Too? Is purple a Chunky Kong? Oh my god. Oh, and I don't have a red feather. I need to go. I think I need to go see um, Funky Kong. Actually, I should switch out as DK and then go and um, feed the pigs. 
Did they make toys for this game? I kind of want to look on eBay and see if there's like a Donkey Kong 64 action figure. I used to have... I used to have the Mario Kart Donkey Kong action figure. That was one of my favorite toys ever. I lost it though. I still somehow have my banjo figure that I got um, from the Diddy Kong Racing action figure. I still have that banjo. Probably the only action figure ever made of banjo. I lost the cart, but I still have the the bear. Uh, do I have enough coins to buy my shit? I mean, an amiibo is not really an action figure. It's just a figure. Where's the action? Plus, they used, like... I didn't really like the design for Banjo and Kazooie in Smash. They didn't do the they didn't do the shitty banjo nuts and bolts design, but they also like I don't know, they don't look as like stocky and like humanoid as in the the other games. Nuts and bolts is like I need to stream that game. Honestly, I need to stream that game. Maybe I'll do that uh, at some point this week or next week. I was, I mean, I've always been a huge Banjo-Kazooie fan. I, I remember when, there was a leak for, there was a leak or something, something happened where they announced a new Banjo game, but they didn't say it was nuts and bolts. They like played a video or something at an Xbox conference. And I remember like, I was so happy and then when there was a leak that happened that showed that it was like a car building game, I was so devastated. I was so fucking devastated. Honestly, like I felt like that was like a like a defining moment. Ever since then I've had such an intense like uh, cynicism about games that I like getting sequels. I still got it. I still played it, but I was just like I was so destroyed by that news. Trog shares the same sentiment. Ooh, I love how 2D these are. Oh no, I have to go back down and do that again. I remember, I remember also reading some sort of article or interview, oh my god, okay. Where, right after Microsoft purchased Rare, um, some Microsoft exec was walking around and saw like a Banjo, uh, not a Banjo, a Donkey Kong poster for Donkey Kong Country. And the Microsoft exec just posted to the, pointed to the poster and said like, do we own that now? And they're like, no, that's, that's Donkey Kong. You don't own that now because you own us. That's not how that works. <laughs> oh. Did I ever play Grunty's Revenge for the Game Boy Advance? I think I tried to emulate it a couple of times. I've never actually played it though. I was I was weirded out by like the perspective. Because I was just so in love with Banjo. I honestly, I was just in love with Banjo Tooie. I didn't even play Banjo Kazooie much as a kid. My first game was, my first Banjo game was Banjo Tooie. And I just, I played the shit out of that game. I think it's one of the few games that I beat as a kid. Oh, there's nothing here. Whoop. 
Yeah, rare under Microsoft is very interesting. Like, they made, they were, for some reason, they ended up making like three games for launch Xbox. Cameo and, and Project uh, Perfect Dark Zero. And people were like, these are not great games. And they made Viva Pinata, which it's, I'm shocked that they were somehow, that they were able to get that out the door. That seems like such a random game that Microsoft would have been like. Microsoft was probably like, oh fuck, what just happened? I wasn't paying attention. I'm guessing I have to go up here? No. Oh yeah, Conquer Live and Reloaded. Oops. Conquer Live and Reloaded was my alt, my first exposure to that game. That game, that game would also be worth revisiting now because the original Xbox version runs so bad. It runs so bad that the platforming is like nearly impossible. Fuck. But I do love Viva Piñata. What the fuck? Oh, damn it. Oh yeah, Viva Piñata was a show. I mean, it was a game before it was a show, but... Um... The show was not great, but the game was amazing. I think Viva Piñata still to this day is like one of the most unique games I've ever played. <gasps> Fuck. Fuck this analog stick. Like I have such a love for Viva Piñata. Oh my god, this sucks. Oh my god. Deserve more than two games. I wouldn't even consider Trouble in Paradise like a... That was like more of like an expansion pack. I don't know why they made... That was a weird... Just a weird choice, but... Rascal Risk? No. No, I mean... This part sucks, but aside from that... Oh, 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 come on, what the fuck? Let's try this side, I guess. Oh my god, I cannot use this fucking control stick. Oh, stop. Okay, let's do this instead. <laughs> okay, well, at least I know the tech. Viva Pinata on the DS. Oh yeah, I remember that. There was a weird, that was a weird thing. Like for, they just like, yeah, Viva Pinata on the DS is so strange. Why did that happen? Oh my God, why would you move the camera like that on me? What a betrayal. Kids. Yeah, I know, but, like, it's also, like, a Microsoft property. Like, I think that might be one of the few examples of, like, of... I... Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking shit. I swear to God. Whenever I have those moments, I always wonder if Kid Me would have bit the controller. I feel like probably. Actually, no, I think when the N64 was out, I'd kind of grown out of that. Alright, fucking go. Go. What? Uh what? Uh uh whatever. What's the last game I mauled it over? Uh, I mean, I feel like that happens almost every stream, but it's because I've been playing frustrating games. Not intentionally, it's just a lot of games I pick out of... Uh -huh. 
Hmm, I wonder if I'll need Cranky's help in here. I don't set out to play games that are bad or games that are frustrating. It's just that my brain, the games that I pick that I think would be interesting. I have like a fascination with games that I feel like nobody has thought about in the past 10 years. And a lot of the, I mean, lo and behold, a lot of the games that people don't really think about or talk about end up being pretty bad. So, but I think it's still cool. Oh my god. Do I have to like trick him into throwing an orange near me? I'm gonna die, that's not good. Oh god. I have to be careful. Oh, it's that guy's dropping the bombs. There we go. Give me some health. Chameleon Twist? I've heard about- I've seen that game on eBay. My eBay is a very interesting place. There's a lot of weird games on there. Damn, you got me right on the nose. Go Diddy. I could barely see him. Oh. I'm just gonna start jumping. Fuck it. Oh my god. Wait. It's blocked. What the hell? Okay, whatever. Oh my god, did I have to hit the switch? You need a power from Cranky to do. <laughs> Oh, that's what he meant by I think I'll need a I think I'll need Cranky's help in here. I thought I was looking for something in here for Cranky. Come on, throw. Don't throw. Throw. This might not even be what I'm supposed to do. Okay, well, I'm going to go then. Or maybe I should shoot that. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, no, I got scared for a second. I was like, did it just remove all of my collectibles? But no. It's just that I haven't gone to the beginning of the level with him yet. I got scared. Oh. oh, it's good. I need to be here anyways. Oh, is this... There's another room with these two? Oh, okay. This is just here. I need 25 of these bananas, right? Or, no, it's five per Kong.
Oh, it's the same room with multiple entrances? Good. Because I was about to say, I don't want to do that whole jumping shit to get there again. What's that? Red feather. Well, let's feed him. Get ready. You're about to get that key that you so desire. Oh, is this the door to the boss? <laughs> the scream. <laughs> That's so funny. Donkey Kong door. They really, they, they treat it like you've just won a huge prize. Let's fight the boss then. It really doesn't take much to fight the boss. That was, that did not take long. All you need to do in the world is beat the boss and get enough gold bananas to open the next. Yeah, that makes sense. I remember this boss. I think this is the only boss I've fought in this game. What is this, the armadillo? Yeah. That room paved a generation. <laughs> Alright, from what I remember, I have to... Oopsie. I have to pick this up and wait for him to show himself. And then throw it. Yeah. God, there's so much going on in this scene that, like, I feel like it, it's struggling to stay at, like, 20 FPS. Is there health that I could get? Because I'm hurting over here. I feel like, like, rare bosses are never that hard. Like, even in Banjo 2 and Banjo Kazooie, aside from the last boss, I feel like they're never too hard. Chili Willy and Chili Billy. Oh! I'm trying to remember. I thought that wasn't too bad. I think Lord Wu, Lord Wu, whatever the fuck that that fish's name was in Banjo Two. I think that one was hard. But if you were the submarine, it was easy. But without being the submarine, it was so fucking hard. Having an underwater boss was just a wild decision. Nice going. That looks like one of the keys to K Lumby's K K Lumby K Lumsy's cage. Whoa. Whoa, that was a scary sound. Uh, I should switch to Diddy. Probably. I'm trying to think of what else I need to do in this world. I have to go see Cranky as Diddy. I think. Oh yeah, oh my god. That was, uh... That was just someone on Tumblr being someone on Tumblr. That was entertaining. Uh, where the fuck was Cranky? Oh, Cranky was in one of the tunnels. Banana port 2. Okay, I need to start taking the banana ports more. Oh, well, there you go.
I got so many fucking coins, doesn't matter. Pay up. Give me this potion. Press and hold Z, then press B. So what does this do, do for me in this level? Oh, will this explode the, the huts? Oh, guess not. Knock over those grates in the mine. I, I don't know what, where the mine is. I could hit that switch now. Mm, I'm not sure what switch you're talking about. There's so much shit in this. Oh, I need that stuff. Yeah. Oh, I could finally get this guy. That's something I needed to do. Ugh. Will that get me up this little hill? Oh. Oh, I guess not. Where does this bring me? Banana ports are confusing. I'll say that. It's a good thing they improved on that in, in Tui, because it's a bit rough. I wonder how I opened that. Oh, Lord. Fuck. Fuck. I forgot there was a banana at the top that I didn't get. At least I don't think I got it. Oh no, I did get it. I just don't remember. Um, oh yes! It's the- I know what gate you were talking about. It's this one. Wait, it despawned because I died? Low. Ah, I see. Does make it considerably easier. Oh, oh, I got scared. Oh, oh, clearly I'm not the one who's supposed to be here. But oh, okay. Wait, I don't remember this part. Listen up, Diddy. Collect 50 coins on this pleasant scenic ride to win a golden banana. Use 
stick to speed up or slow down, lean left or right, press A to jump, watch out for other cards as a chasing TNT barrel. Okay. Oh my god. <gasps> oh lord! I love that he holds his hat. <gasps> Fuck. There's a lot going on here. Oh, that's what they meant. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, I lost three there. Damn. Oh fuck! But what am I supposed to do? Okay. Oh fuck, what? Oh shit! This is cool. I want to buy this in VR, honestly. It would be so sick. <gasps> no, I'm so close. I did it. Oh, okay. Great ride, huh? Thank you. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, I need to save. Uh, so there was a banana at the top of the mountain that despawned or something? I can't even, I don't even know how many I've gotten or which ones that I've gotten. I'm trying to remember if there's anything that I haven't... I need, there's five bananas per character, right? And I have, I have, only have six right now. Remember the awful bridge. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's where that is. Uh, how the fuck did I get there? It was at the top of the mountain. Give this shit another go. This game ain't too bad. There's some frustrating parts, but like... Huh? Or maybe I've already done it. Or did I just miss? Okay. He's so happy when he takes the guns out. Concerning. <gasps> oh. yeah, I forgot I can't be too fast. There we go. Easy. Jesus. 
So I'm done in here, right? I burst open the gate, but I need I need a different Kong, I think. Let me just double check. No, that was just the way to the mine. Oh my god, the mine. No, that was the other one. I swear, there was something in here that was like, I can't do it. Or whatever. I might need a Nintendo Power Guide. Three, three. Need about two more each. Uh, which would be the blueprints. Uh, that would be one. Let's switch out to DK so we can get the bananas. This honestly is like, there's a lot of homework in this game. It's like Destiny a little bit. Like, I gotta switch out, go to DK, go drop off my blueprints so I could get the golden banana. Then I have to switch back out to Diddy Kong, go to the HQ, drop off the blueprint as so I can get the golden banana. Oh, they had fun with this. I just got a, the ran, most random, strongest craving for Lucky Charms. Oh, I can't skip this. That's great. <laughs> I've not had cereal in a minute. I have not had cereal in weeks. Don't fall for their tricks. What? It's poison. It's okay. I love the marshmallows. Lucky Charms for me is like a lot of cereals, like I feel like overwhelmingly sweet. Lucky Charms is a good mix. Plus you, you get that, you get that milk all uh, like marshmallowy. If they had Count Chocula, oh my God, I swear to God. I think Count Chocula is a, just a thing you could get anywhere in the US, but here it's only at Halloween. I fucking miss Count Chocula so much. Thoughts about Cinnamon Toast Crunch? I feel that shit in my veins. That shit's like crack. I can't eat too much Cinnamon Toast Crunch. It's great, but I can't eat too much of it. It's like, um... It's like Captain Crunch for me. They're both just like, I feel like I'm eating drugs. Like, it just... I feel like I'm just like... Like it just, it's, I'm just, my brain's like, yo, this is too much. Dude. I wonder how I opened that gate to that banana. Raisin Bran, honestly, Raisin Bran is one of my favorites. Raisin Bran is one of my favorites for something that's not too sweet, but also like I have to open the windows if I eat that. I think I'm done in this level. I know I have one banana each left for the for the Kongs, but fuck it. That should that should be enough. Let me switch to DK. Get fibered. I can't. I remember. It was never, it wasn't always like that. I think it's just the older I get, the more I be farting off of Raisin Bran. Like, it's wild. There was a period of time where I lived in a room with no windows, and anytime I'd eat Raisin Bran, I'd wake up the next morning, I just felt like I was in a sewer.
Okay, I'm gonna leave now. Brand Brab. <laughs> This isn't the best time to be eating watching this stream. I mean, what do you think is going to happen to the stuff that you eat? <laughs> Honey Nut Cheerios. Oh my god, I've not had cereal with strawberry milks, I think, in for like 20 years. I've not thought of that in so long. I've not thought of strawberry milk in a very long time. <laughs> All right, let's see the second world. I think after this stream, oh no, everything's closed. I could go to the convenience store. My milk is rotten right now. Sadly. At least I'm pretty sure it is. It's been there for, I think a month. And then I got sick, so I couldn't drink it. I just haven't checked on it since. Why did I not throw it away? I don't know. I feel like I don't throw it away unless I get new milk. <laughs> Where, how do I get to this place? How do I get to this desert? Oh, do I have to go to DK Island? Oops, I'm on the wrong island. God, the frame rate on that island is too much. There we go, finally. I can't, I don't like almond milk or oat milk or soy milk. All that shit tastes like just van vanilla sweetener. It has such a, an almond milk too. I hate almond milk. I really am, I really am someone who could only drink cow milk. Get unsweetened, but then it just tastes like plastic. It just doesn't hit the same. Oh, there's Diddy's thingies. got milk that didn't come from a cow you'd break down in tears <laughs> where'd that uh barrel go i have to shoot it
brain brain. All right, what's this level got to offer? I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna get that barrel, but. Let's save. Oops. Okay. Oh no! Imbecile! Kayama, <laughs> real thank you. 19 Muffy, my house tonight. Whole 19. I'm not gonna lie, these interiors look like the place that we were in. <laughs> it doesn't look, except there's like, I see sand. Were we not just here? Well, I'm gonna blast through this. Pineapples, okay. Yeah, this is wild real time lighting. Oh, I need to be DK. Oh, okay, this uh, this environment looks kind of nice. Oh, it's fucking um What's his face? From uh, Banjo Kazooie. Is that not? Gobi? Yeah. Looks a bit different than Gobi, though. Oh, Candy. What does she do? Whoops. Let's feed these two. Oh, I got no bananas, never mind. Oh, but I could switch to DK. I need to do that. Hey! Rice itself is good. I fucking love rice. Oh, the bananas are per level? Oh, okay. That's unfortunate, but it makes sense. We, I had a lot of them. <laughs> DK. Well, hello, donkey. You just take it easy and let Candy tell you how she's gonna make you feel real good. <laughs> Why, for just a few little old coins, you could have my musical instruments and extra melons, too. Come on now, donkey. Just for three coins, I'll show you my musical instrument and throw in an extra melon for free. <laughs> what is this phrasing? Let's give it a try. Sure. Stand a little closer, donkey, and I'll show you how to use your instrument. Okay. <laughs> press and hold Z, then press up. Its sound wave blast will deafen most Kremlings, but will also reduce the instrument's energy. Top up its energy by finding some headphones. Oh, another collectible. And you won't lose any energy if it played when you are standing on a music pad. And all sorts of amazing things are likely to happen, too. You've You've all got another melon, too. It'll hopefully make things a little easier. 
You have all the latest stuff from me. Come see me later, okay? Can Diddy see her? I guess if she gave everyone a melon, then only... No, that's true, because DK can get a... a uh, Diddy Kong can get a guitar, right? I remember that. Melons are shared. <laughs> That's a good sentence. Melons are shared. For three coins, you could play this musical instrument. Do you want it? What? <laughs> it's so much shorter. <laughs> Stand a little closer, Diddy. I'll show you how to use your instrument. Okay, well, that's still there. Press and hold Z, then press up. It's sound wave will blast. Oh, it's the same fucking thing, except it's a guitar. You have all this stuff for me. How do I activate it? Is this. No, nope, that's gun. That's a grenade. Oh. Oh, it just kills all the enemies on screen. I'm gonna guess. Alright. Oh, lord. Oh, is that peanut? Did I open this door? Yes. Wait, I kind of want to get those bananas. <laughs> Hello. Sorry, guy. Oh, I didn't read all that. Sorry, guys. She could, yeah, she could walk out. She could, she could fit. I'll, she's staying there because she wants to. Those are very interesting platforms. <laughs> well, how the hell do I get up there, though? What? Was that all just for some peanuts? Oh. The tongue cometh. Oh god. Please let me turn. Oh god! Oh! Oh! No! No! One more time. Why are they so sad? Because they're ah! Because their 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 life is Oh my god, this fucking camera.
Oh no. Oh no. Oh, come on. Everything wants to kill me in this game. Oh my god, stop! All this for a fucking coin. Oh my god. I can't see. Oh, that was so close. Okay. Do it. Oh. I love that you can hear the enemies dying. <laughs> this is cool. This is like a little mumbo's pad or whatever. That's a fun effect. Is there anything for me to collect here? No. What are those batteries? I wonder who that's for. So what's up here? Oh, nothing. Oh, 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 get the banana, you fool! It was torture not being able to move the fucking camera while in there. G. N. K. P. I. M. P. Oh, there's a little switch. Just for me. Huh? Uh, do I have to just... Hit it? Oh, I have to... I have to... Do the thing? Oh, that sound! That was a really hardcore sound. <laughs> That's so metal. It sounds like it's something out of Saw. Nice work, Diddy. Right then, I'll grab all the purple bananas I see. I'm off to the tag barrel. Bye. They really only live to collect bananas. That's all they do. They're like, I'm free now. Uh, I'm gonna- I- I live to collect these bananas for us. I love it. Bye. Oh, I have to swim all the way back. How is there no tag barrel in this room? It's kind of wild. Like, 
Like here, she's just got nothing but purple coins. Looks climbable. Well, I guess I have to leave. Oh no, there's a tag barrel here. Wait, why is it grayed out? Oh, this is just for her. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh shit. I can't kill these guys. What the hell is going on? What is this? Oh, the triangle. It's an instrument, I guess. Come on. Uh, how do I leave? It's up here. Not gonna lie. Not huge on this world. It, it feels very similar to the one that we just finished, or at least the interiors, interiors, interiors of the jungle japes level. Why can't I do this? It has my face on it. I see, I see DK bananas. Stop messing about. All this sand is beginning to itch in here. Okay, I have to switch to DK. Cranky upgrade needed. Where on earth is Cranky? I guess I'll go back in here. I actually don't know where else to go. That's the world end. No, wait. oh, I actually don't remember what was here. Is it just a hallway? I think it was. Oh, but there was a coconut door. I remember that. This one. Yeah, there we go. Damn, he's taking lots of damage. You remember this room. You did not like it. <laughs> I mean... This is the room you take damage in. I'm sure there's. I'm supposed to have some sort of upgrade or power that's supposed to let me do that properly, but fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I feel like this game is too large for its own good. Yeah, I'm, star I'm starting to feel that, and this is just the second world. It's so. There's so much in this game. But a lot of it is, like, not exactly meaningful. That was the only thing I knew about this game going into it. It says a lot that kid me didn't even stick around after the first level. Like I, I'm, everything from here on out is new to me. Updates on the Rascal Meter. It's not. I'm not frustrated by this game. It's not even like a bad game. It's just. 
I'm actually wondering if I would be able to finish it on stream. I do want to see the worlds. The Rascal Meter is for a game that, like, I feel like I might tap out on within, like, an hour of playing it. What am I supposed to do as DK? I actually don't know what to do. Maybe I have to be, uh, tiny? Nope. Oh. There are five golden bananas for you to find here, too. Okay. Could have figured it out. I think... I think it's... The game is really huge. Um... Oh, these are all bananas for DK. Damn it. Oh, she needs a gun. Do I have to go back to the first world to get her a gun? I do? Funky and cranky are in every world. Oh, okay. Do. Um, well, where the heck would Funky be? I'm like not even sure how to progress. Oh, there were little vines that were up here. Is that just for DK though? Oh, fuck. Oh. Honestly, I think despite some light frustration, not, I wouldn't even say frustrations, despite the game's bloatedness, I still enjoy playing it because, oh, I need Diddy. Shit. I still enjoy playing it because you don't get games like this, really. So it's still pretty unique. Azric is right there. I mean games that are have come out recently. Like, there are, like, there is a whole scene in, like, independent games and stuff. And, like, independent developers that are making, like, platformers. But... You don't really see a lot of them that, like... Oops. How do I... Oh, I have to do this. I have never played Psychonauts. I should play Psychonauts. There we go. I do need to play Psychonauts. I would have to play through Psychonauts 1. Ugh.
Sonic Frontier. I'm not touching Sonic Frontiers. No, I never finished Azric, and I probably won't for a minute. That game is so fucking long. Rocket Barrel Boost. Jump into my barrel with your face on it to try out the prototype jet barrel. Take it into the air if you can. Oh, that's the one of the barrels that I saw earlier. When does Texas Chainsaw Massacre come out? In like 10 days. Trust me. When that game comes out, I'm pretty sure I'll only be streaming that game. For like a week, at least. I did watch the I did watch the dev like the dev stream. That had me a little worried, but I'm still gonna play the shit out of it. I'm hoping that uh what happened? Just something really fucking bad, like real no, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's just um they introduced like a skill tree and progression system that I think might make it very difficult for new new players to come in and actually like progress with one of their characters. I just skipped through that. Did I actually get anything? Oh, I didn't have coins, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. It's um It reminded me a bit of Evil Dead's skill tree Thank system. You smile. Thank you, Jerry Me Mandering. 34 months. Um, but Evil Dead, which is pretty much dead at this point, it had a big problem where if you played a lot, then you would get points to, like, level up characters in the game, and it would just be, like, straight up, like, pure boost, like, you now have 100% more health, or, like, you attack, like, 200% more. And it made it so, like, if you hadn't leveled up, and you were, like, a killer or whatever, or a demon, and you were up against a team full of, like, really high-level survivors, then you were fucked. Like, you were actually, like, it made the game, like, ten times harder. And I called it on stream, I was like, this is gonna kill the game. And within, like, a month, it was, like, pretty much a wasteland. Okay, so this is the power that we needed in that one room that we just brute forced. Do I have bananas to give to the monk to the pigs? Not that many. Oh. It was a fun game, but legitimately that like leveling system really killed like it really hurt. Uh like the player base and it's it's a game it's an online only game based off of the evil dead. It's already gonna like kinda struggle, right? So that was my only fear when I saw them doing a stream about the metagame of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I saw like a few similarities there. Where like some of like the perks quote unquote, or like perks or like level level upgrades or whatever that you could get for some of the characters were like nothing but like strength for the character and there was no downside and it was just like Ooh, I don't know. Then again I did look at some of the killers uh perks or whatever and it, they were also pretty strong but it remains to be seen. I think at launch, honestly, if I wanted to be realistic, I think at launch it's going to be a mess, balance-wise. I think it's going to be... But, I mean, what, what can they do? Well, they just have to release the game and let people play it and see what happens. But I'm just really hoping that... I'm really hoping that they don't make it inaccessible for new people. But they seem to be mostly focused on people having fun and not being competitive, so... You really hope it doesn't fall into the same trappings as Dead by Daylight? I don't think it will. That's like the big game that everyone's comparing it to and like the devs are very aware of it. They'll refer to it as the other game, but like it's pretty obvious. Um, and they said on that stream, they also said like, like we don't want our game to be like sweaty and competitive. We want you to have fun playing it, which was good to hear. So they're like no, no leaderboards, no like they're designing it in a way that's not going to be too sweaty. But 
but yeah, I'm just, I'm excited. I can't wait to play. I loved, honestly, if they did away with some, oh, I need to switch, don't I? Do I need to switch to Tiny? Ooh, what's these? Oh, this is the invincibility things, right? What is that? Golden banana. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, it seems like they're, they've definitely, the game is way tighter than Friday the 13th ever was. Oh, a new, new room. I need to switch out. I can't be Donkey Kong right now. What's over there? Oh, there's a thing for Tiny, there's a thing for Diddy. Uh, where's the tag barrel when I need it? It's the same devs as Friday the 13th, yeah. There's one. It's same devs as Friday the 13th, but like... Texas Chainsaw Massacre is so much tighter of a game. Did I get the blueprint? Is Donkey Kong? No. Yeah, it's the same does as Friday the 13th. But I don't know, Friday the 13th always felt like there was some semblance of like a design there. Um but it never felt super tight. Texas Chainsaw Massacre's design feels like the the asymmetrical design feels so fucking good. Uh, where was I needed? I was needed over there. I think. Yes. Yeah, the beta was really promising. The only the only thing with that was uh, it didn't have any of the metagame Brass stuff. monkey. That funky monkey. Tridor, thank you. Four months. Which honestly makes me think, like, I don't really know if if the game was that fun just by itself. Is, like, a whole metagame even necessary? I don't know. Maybe for the longevity of it, like, if people are getting bored. How the fuck am I supposed to get there? Oh, we with the jetpack, maybe? Okay, I'll switch to Tiny Kong, see what that barrel does. Oh no, I haven't seen, uh, I need to see Cranky first. She has coins over there, I think, or something. I think it'll have a strong but like small uh, player base. 
probably stronger than Evil Dead. But it won't. I don't think it'll have. I think at launch, probably for like a month or maybe two. But I'd say probably for a month. It'll have like a pretty decent, like varied player base. But as time goes on, I, I, I think it's going to drop pretty quick. Um, I need to get to Cranky now. I don't remember where that is. Oh, I don't have another five. Where were the million and one pads that I hit earlier? Are they all the way over here? How do, how do I get lost? I'm just gonna jump it. There we go. Oh, what's there? I didn't go up there. Oh, it's for Donkey Kong. Alright, well, there's nothing really up here for us. I'm gonna hope one of these... Oh, wait, there's bananas that I need over there. You know what? This game ain't too bad. Really, aside from the bloat, that's really honestly the only... Well, the gameplay is not great, but... Troll's a little sluggish. But otherwise... I think if this was the only game I had uh, as a kid, I would definitely put a ton of time into it. But I think I played this after I played Banjo-Tooie, so for me, I was just like... Why would I play this if I have Banjo Tooie? Oh, damn. Fuck it, let's take damage. So can't get over how bad the tag barrel mechanics are. I I honestly think that the game was designed just as a base by itself, and they were like, "Hey, we want this to be like five times bigger. I want this to be like our hugest title yet." And so they had to add that. I think I feel like that was never. It comes across like it was never really. Uh, the intention from the beginning. So how do I get small? I missed the button input. I don't even know where I would need to do that. Oh, in a barrel, okay. How many bananas do I have? 20. Feed y'all. <laughs> Is my face cam pre recorded footage? No. You see, I'm out. As I lean closer to the microphone, you could see that I'm talking right to the camera, and then I pulled back, and you won't hear my voice. Oh, I only have three bananas. Diddy has more. Nope. <laughs> okay. Jump higher, fool.
Damn, DK64 has 3,821 collectibles. That's wild. Just a couple of bananas. I really want cereal right now, honestly. That would hit so hard. It's purely because I haven't had cereal in, like, in so long. <laughs> oh, oh, poor Donkey Kong has to go through this shit again. Okay, where the fuck does that bring him? Oh, I see. You're free. Oh, thank you. All I've got is this old banana. Take it. I'm off for home. God, the fucking... There's ev this game has everything ever. This game has every collectible you could ever think of, ever. And ev everything you could ever want. In one game. Where is that balloon? bring me oh I should probably save I should play ape escape I have ape escape on ps4 oh there's our boy yes who's there can you come in here and give me a hand holy shit I've never actually seen lanky in this game This is a first, y'all. World premiere Lanky Kong. Oh, I can't attack this guy. Let me play my fucking music. I love my bonus oranges. I'm so happy. Without those, I would have have been nearly as satisfactory. What did that do? Oh, okay. Oh, there's Funky. Oh, that's how I get... No. I wonder what projectiles Lanky will have. I think it's the the purple shit, the candy, whatever the fuck that is. They're grenades.
Oh, well, I think I need to go find fucking Funky before I could do that part. Oh, but there's purple bananas down there. Ooh, what's this? What the hell is that? Ability uses the crystal coconuts. Cancel by the move by holding Z and pressing left. One banana. Two banana. Damn, we beating you up. Okay. Okay. Oh god, can I make that? Fuck. Uh, how the, where the, how the fuck do I get out of here? Why don't they just make it kill me instead of this? Oh, there we go. Oh, Lord. Am I supp- wait, am I supposed to just grow so I could do this? Because I don't think I could do this. Yeah, that makes more sense. Oh, I feel so weird. Oh, God. Oh, God. No! Oh, my God. Wait. No. No. I'm going to die. Okay. <laughs> At least I saved. Can I technically just use the, the two pad to get there without having to shrink again? Not that that was the hardest part. The save button does nothing. Oh, what does it actually do? Unlucky 13 so spins fuck yes sir. Thank you, Hage Gun. Whole 13 moths. It makes DK say okay. Is that... Oh, the warp pads of the Camel Temple are separate from the main level. Damn it. Dang it, we have to get lanky before we, before we end the stream. Uh, I already saw candy, but I could use those coconuts. How many banana do I have? Five. Wait, the save button actually doesn't do anything? That's wild. I thought that was a joke. That's... <laughs> what the fuck? That's weird. Hey, Diddy, this is your door. I might as well do the boss fight now. Though I didn't see Funky Kong. Hey, 
that had meant to hold the N64 add-on because of how badly the game ran. Yeah, and it still runs like shit. The fucking screaming is so blown out. This is fantastic. Come, come, welcome. We are in the fight of our lives. With the most blown out screams. Welcome to the stream, Raiders. Bold of them to just have the boss fight be the exact same as the other one, though. <laughs> Oh my god! The screech! It's so funny that you could just fight the boss without even having like more than two bananas from the level. It's a weird system there. I mean technically in Banjo 2 you don't even have to get anything. You could you could technically fight the boss this, this at the beginning if you wanted to. Be the first thing you did. Um, I have to be Donkey Kong to go into the thing, right? I'm like lost in this level a little bit. Let's go over there. Wait, did they just did this just open? Oh my god. No, this is not new. Oh, this is for Chunky Kong only. But then there's purple coins. That's so evil. Oh, this is Cranky. Uh, I got what I needed from Cranky. I need to go. F I need to go save uh, Lanky Kong before before it's too late. Oh, there's some stuff for me here. Can't get over how much, how much Diddy Kong sounds like Mickey Mouse. Yep, especially the the jumps. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh. Oh, hey, yeah, we could do this too. Oh, okay. That's how that works. All the cool fucking rock music. Oh no, I felt... Well, I might as well go see Funky Kong. We need to get, we need to get Tiny Kong a gun. Oh my god, there's no tag barrel here, damn it. Bad news, Freight, I'm still working on- Okay, so there's nothing for Diddy Kong here.
Oh, there's one right here. Good. Let's get you some machinery. Banjo Two really improved the whole warp pad situation. Oh yeah, it's a night. Well, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's a nightmare here. It's like almost useless here. It's so confusing. The numbers mean nothing. Yeah. Oh, that's not too. That could have been cooler. I'm guessing he has nothing for Donkey Kong either. Got some headphones here. Oh, there's bananas. But it's pointless. Well, actually, it's not. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Just. Just. Worth it. <laughs> so worth it. I think I have to go back and be Diddy Kong and oh there's a bunch of bananas here. Oh, this is gonna be risky though. What? oh fuck, I thought that was ground. Oh my god, all these bananas are so risky. Fuck it. Fuck it. Um, is there a switch? Oh, I need a gun. Oh, I do have a gun now. Is there, is there a switch here for me? Oh, no! No! Uh, what does dying actually do? Do I- did I lose anything just now? Do I have my gun? I do. I think I need to switch to DK and get try to get Lanky Kong. Oh no, I could open this with my feathers, right? I think there's a feather switch here. Yes. Oh, you fool! Okay. No. Yes. Am I able to go free Lanky? I think so. What does being tiny here do for me? Do I have to swim? Oh! Oh no, I, it stops when I'm in the water. Well, what's the point of being tiny here? Where is the... Where's like, is there an opening somewhere that I'm missing? You 
thought I was moving back and forth for three hours straight. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's an interesting one. Okay, I need to get Lanky out. Wrong way. No shame in rocking. <laughs> Party rock. All right, let's try this again. Let's free our boy Lanky. Yeah, it's also true, like, I- the- the loop is not- it doesn't even loop properly, I just appear out of nowhere. <laughs> Y'all just like, yeah, that's normal. What does this do again? <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, there's a banana there. A bananas. I think this is the key to saving Lanky. There's a barrel for me to become tiny. There. What does that mean? There we go. This is going much better than last time. God. Rascal wishes. Oh, spoke too soon. Oh no. Oh, it's happening. Oh, it's happening. Oh no, I'm okay. Will this be the thing? Oh, it's just a banana. How the fuck do I free Lanky? so loud. Wow. This is really, the curve is really huge. I think we've spent like, what, 40 minutes in this level. We only have two bananas. And we had like three bananas within the first 10 minutes of the, the first level. Really, the game's starting to, to bloat up. Oh God, please. Be careful.
If I make it, I can go buy cereal. No, no cereal! That breaks my heart. Uh, do I still have the banana? What? That's the issue I'm having with this game. I don't know what I lose. Okay, so I I'm still have my one banana. I'm still have my one banana. Um. I just want a free lanky. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get our boy out. You lose nothing? No way. I think I have to reopen a lot of the doors that I just opened, which is a fucking problem. Uh... It saves after major collects. We'll see actually what the effect is when we go into the next room because there's that one big stone thing that should be open right now. If that is such a case. If that is the case. Um. Fuck. I'm going back in. Is that is that actually where Lanky? I think that's where Lanky is, right? It has to be. Yeah, he was there when I when I came in, so I'm assuming he has to be in here. Oh, there's nothing for us here anymore. Right? Thank God. Did I open it? Yeah, I opened something here. I'm just remembering that. That has to be... That has to get us to Lanky. There he is! Our boy! Please let me out. I'll help you defeat K. Rule. <laughs> I feel like that's something like a fake family member would say. Please let me out. I'll help you defeat main enemy. What's up, friend? Oh my god, that sound. I'll help you by collecting blue bananas. Come and find me in the tag barrel. Oh, there's... Why? That's evil. The fact that they don't let you switch to him and he has fucking b banana balloons in here. They would make you come back just for that. That's wild. I want to play as Lanky a bit before we start wrapping up. I want to get those blue bananas. Oh, do I have to leave? 
No, it's in... It's... Where is the tag barrel? It's up here, right? No. I think it's across the room. This will be my first time ever playing Lanky. This is momentous. Why does he do that? What is his pose like this? Oh my god. Make him fight. <laughs> Oh my god. 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 Oh my I love Lanky Kong. Look at him. We need to get you some coins so you can get some a gun, so we could get you a music music instrument, load you up with some potions. So let's level him the fuck up. We need some coins for you, bro. Hopla! Where would I see some blue coins? Oh! Let's get you a gun, bro. I've got a real cool shooter that, that'll trash K. Rool's army. Yeah! Oh, that's- it's grapes. I thought it was candy. <laughs> He's fucking flailing his arms. <laughs> this character- I love Lanky Kong. Why does no one talk about how fucking weird Lanky Kong is? This is inspiring. <laughs> hopla, hopla, hop hopla! Why does it say hopla? <laughs> I don't know why I'm so entertained by this. I guess that was the point. Yep, yep. Yep. I actually need to get back into that. The blueprint is over there. I need to get back into... Uh, I need to get back into the... Uh, what's, whatever the fuck it's called. I need to be DK. Hopla, hopla, hopla. I had no idea Lanky Kong was that funny. He does have a funny face. He stretches arms out just for you. 
inflate himself. Just like a balloon. That pronunciation of b balloon has been stuck in my head ever since I heard it. That's why whenever I write balloon, it's B-A-L-O-U-N. Balloon. Just like a balloon. What was the point of that warp? That's like... <laughs> Amazing walk animation. What a fucking treasure. Hopla. 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 Alright, let's get you some more coins so we can get you I'm guessing his instrument is the triangle. One could only hope. Hopla, hopla. Oh, like he's first banana. Oh, look at that dance. He's so happy and cool. find these two other coins, but I want them. Hey. Give me those coins so I can get this guy an instrument. Up with your hip. Up with your hip. What does that even mean? Look at him just chilling. Should I try to teleport to? Where does it bring me? Yes. Yes. Let's get him an instrument. I don't even care about a. Oh god. Are there more? Let's just get him an instrument. Focus on that. I don't even care about those bananas. Unless what Cranky gives him is cool, but I doubt it would be as cool as a triangle. Let's go, bro. Get your triangle. Oh, no. Hopla. Hopla. For three coins, you can play this musical instrument. Oh, it's trombone. I thought it was a triangle. K 
cool. All right, well, before we end this stream... That's just the Rusty Bucket Bay trouble. It's it, it sounds like a different track. Like it definitely sounds like a track that already exists. Let's unlock the next world. See what that is. Wait, what? Okay. Okay, bye. Let's go put the key in the hole. See, this is how the warp point should be in the game. It's one like a bunch of them in like a main hub, and then you get to teleport to different parts of the of the level. I don't know why they're all just like strolling around like someone dropped a box of them or something. Hello, dear friend. Get ready for happiness. Boom, boom, boom. What's the next level? Oh. This looks ominous. Whoa, there's a lot of entrances. What the hell? <laughs> you have unlocked two levels. Oh, hey, free banana. DK equals donkey. <laughs> donkey. Is it? I'm pretty sure what I unlocked was around here, wasn't it? Whoa, hop. Oh, there it is. Whoa, hop. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking voice is so <laughs> strange. <laughs> everybody, everybody. Welcome, Raiders. We are the iconic Lanky Kong of 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 my profile picture fame. We have discovered the beauty that is Lanky Kong. In a sad world where there's rain and everything's dark, we have the beautiful Lanky Kong. Thank you for the raid. Is this where the level is? I'm like, I'm like, I have no idea where the fuck I am now. Four, I'm guessing, is level four.
Oh no, this is it. Look at him just chilling. So what is this level? Oh, I'm missing one fucking banana. Oh, well. I guess we'll have to wait till the next stream. We'll have to wait till the next stream. Wait, you can get through as Lanky. What do you mean? Explain. Like you can clip through doors. Press up, up, and down, and skip the the end. <laughs> what? As Lanky, get as close to the wall on the left side as of the number man as possible, and do your long arm attack. You'll touch the trigger. I'm. Um. I can't get close enough. I don't think this is a real thing. I don't think the arms would be part of Lanky's hitbox or something. Oh, I thought I did it for a second. Oh shit! Well, damn, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that, I mean, that just confirms it. Like, he's the best fucking character. Damn. Thing is, I guess if I exit the level, I have to do that over again. Do we just break it? I hope not, because I'm playing this on actual hardware, so if I fuck my save up, then it's fucked forever. Frantic Factory. These level themings have been strange. <laughs> what? Why? Why a factory? I feel like Donkey Kong is like, okay, the first one is a jungle level. Then the second one is like, it's maybe like an ice, an ice place or like, a, you know, it's like, no, a fact. Oh, I guess there were factories in Donkey Kong Country, so it makes Hop sense. Hopla. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god, it's Grunty Industries all over again. Fucking windows keeping you from going places. Look at him chilling.
Well, it is it is 1 a.m. here. We've been streaming this for almost four hours. I think I'm gonna keep playing this game. I think I might. I did a stream series way back in 2020 where I played through Banjo Kazooie. I think maybe we'll try and get through Donkey Kong 64 as long as that'll take. Look at that shit. <laughs> ah. Ah. Let's get a let's get a closer look at that. A better look at that. Let us enjoy Lanky. After years of having Lanky as my profile picture, now we get to actually see what he's about. And look at this. His talent on display right now. Oh. Congratulations, Lanky Kong. You are amazing. You are magic. I love you. It's so great to meet you. Give us one last hoopla. Yes! Uh, we'll see you soon, Lanky. And I will see y'all soon as well. Thank you for tuning in for a little late night ban uh, banjo. Donkey Kong 64. The next stream shall be Wednesday. I think we're going to be doing a media share stream on Wednesday, so tune in for that. That'll be not tomorrow, but the day after that. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun. And I think the next stream after that will probably be on Friday. We'll have to see. And I will see y'all then. Thank you for tuning in. Have a good night. Goobaba. But you have to save first. Ah! Let's save one more time. Okay. Good. And I'll see you next time. Remember. Yeah. Anyway, we better get to class. Yeah. Hi, guys. Wow.